Hey, what is up nation? In this session, I'm gonna be teaching you how to export a GLTF file with transparent textures from Blender. All right, so I actually was working on something for a video game uh, that uses GLTF files. I had a really hard time exporting textures with or materials with alpha channels. So I did a bunch of research and figured out this method uh, and figured out other people might find this useful. So uh, what you can see here is there's a banner. For, for this particular sake, there is a background shape and then there's another shape that just has this image. Uh, this image is a PNG file that has a an alpha channel. I was trying to use mixers and different things and, and that wasn't working when I exported. Um, so I'm just gonna show you this setup here. This is what I had the first time. I was using a mix shader and in Blender this looks fine but when you export it, it doesn't work. Uh, so what you actually want to do is this is my image and I'm taking the color and putting it into the base color. The alpha channel is going into the alpha and then I'm just exporting that straight to the surface. Uh, and that's what is giving me this. So that's the first step is just having this set up for your material. And then uh, when you go to export, the thing that you wanna do is go to file export and then this is a .glb slash .gltf file. So you come into here, and the thing that you just wanna make sure is that uh, you wanna to go to geometry and make sure that UVs and materials are both selected. Images, I chose automatic, but I think every time it always uh, exports as a PNG. I'm not sure whether doing a JPEG matters or not, it might for the alpha channel. So um, I guess just to be safe, use a PNG. This is going to, if you didn't, if you've been exporting without UVs or materials, uh, it's going to increase your file size a lot. The thing that I noticed with this is that everything is a base material, just a color. Um, and I was getting around 17 uh, megabytes for the file size. And then as soon as I clicked uh, UVs and materials, uh, my file size jumped up to 44 megabytes. So because it's including all of the material information for everything. So if you're not familiar with UVs or materials, materials are the thing that we just set up. Uh, UVs are how those materials are mapped on the faces. So that's why you need both of them. Um, and just before I go, I just wanna talk a little bit about the materials just in case uh, you're unfamiliar with how that works. So in this window here, so let's pretend like I didn't have this up. I'm going to right click here join areas, bring this over. So to set up that material like I had it to use nodes, uh, you wanna make sure that use nodes is on. And then in your sidebar over here, you'll see this is where materials is. So that's where you'll see that. If this is a new material you wanna make, if you don't have a material selected, uh, you just wanna make sure that you make one. So there's a little plus that'll be over here that you can do um, and that'll allow you to start making a new material. And then uh, just to get up that other screen, I'm going to mouse over this little bar here here and it's gonna give me those double arrows. I'm gonna right click and do vertical split and it'll give me this line and then I can make a different dialog box and then I can change this to shader editor and that's gonna give me uh, this guy. Uh, you can then add and search and search for these two things. Your texture is, is gonna be in there for base color that I just assigned uh, this uh, texture by clicking this little circle here and then going to image texture and there's a little file thing structure that you can go through and find your file um, and that's what brought that in here and then from there you know if you don't have the principled shader you would just go add search principled bsdf and then drag it on and by default your material output will always uh, be in there and then you just drag and connect so it's as simple as that I would recommend uh, before you like go into a game or whatever uh, that's using this um, I dropped the file into a third-party viewer which uh, was really helpful just to quickly see what my file was looking like so I'll put a link in the description down below for a website that does that other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it's a little bit obscure, but hopefully it's helpful. If you liked this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And as always, happy hacking.